Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, and tonight in this lesson, and it's very late tonight, but I wanted to get this lesson done and completed for you. We're going to be working on tag questions number five, and it's the last one in the series of tag questions. I will be the first to admit that it's a little bit tricky. I know I always say it's easy, English is easy, but this one is a little bit tricky. So you might have to do it twice or even 10 times to really understand it. But that's okay because the video is always there for you and you can go back and do it as many times as you need to. Let's switch over. We need to get our work screen for tag questions number five. So here we go. If you've already done tag questions one through four, you're starting to get good at it. This I know. So this one should be not too bad, but you'll have to practice it a few times. Tag questions number five. All my students have difficulty using tag questions. I don't know why, it's really so easy. A tag question is when an interrogative element is added to a declarative clause. Tag questions are used very commonly in English, so it's a good idea to learn how to use them correctly. Here are some more examples of how to use tag questions. We use it in a tag question to replace this or that. <clears throat> so when you use this or that, the, the affirmative tag is, is it? And the negative tag is, isn't it? Let's look at some sample sentences to help you with this. That is his car, isn't it? That isn't his car, is it? This is serious, isn't it? <clears throat> this isn't serious, is it? That is the correct answer, isn't it? That isn't the correct answer, is it? This is the right file, isn't it? This isn't the right file, is it? That is what she said, isn't it? That isn't what she said, is it? This is her purse, isn't it? This isn't her purse, is it? That is your bike, isn't it? That isn't your bike, is it? Yes, it is my bike leaning on the tree in the park. That is my bike. We use they in a tag question to replace these or those. Okay, so the affirmative tag is are they and the negative tag is aren't they? These are your shoes, aren't they? These aren't your shoes, are they? Those are the rules, aren't they? Those aren't the rules, are they? These are for sale, aren't they? These aren't for sale, are they? Those are imported from Italy, aren't they? Those aren't important, imported from Italy, are they? These are very expensive, aren't they? These aren't very expensive, are they? Those are better quality, aren't they? Those aren't better quality, are they? These shoes are very comfortable, aren't they? These shoes aren't very comfortable, are they? Those apples are sour, aren't they? Those apples aren't sour, are they? 
These cookies are delicious, aren't they? These cookies aren't delicious, are they? All cookies are delicious. You don't even have to ask. All cookies are delicious. I can tell you that. When using will in the future, <clears throat> we use the contraction of will not, which is won't in the tag question. Okay, so we say I will, and the affirmative tag is will I, and the negative tag won't I. You will, affirmative tag, will you, negative tag, won't you. He will, affirmative, will he, negative, won't he. She will, affirmative, will she, negative, won't she. It will, affirmative, will it, negative, won't it. We will, affirmative tag is will we, and the negative tag is won't we. They will, and the affirmative tag is will they, negative tag, won't they. He'll have time to help me, won't he? He won't have time to help me, will he? It'll be credited to my account, won't it? It won't be credited to my account, will it? She will pick me up after work, won't she? She won't pick me up after work, will she? I will be considered for the position, won't I? I won't be considered for the position, will I? They will try harder, won't they? They won't try harder, will they? We will win, won't we? We won't win, will we? It'll start if you put gas in it, won't it? It won't start if you put gas in it, will it? They will be impressed, won't they? They won't be impressed, will they? You will be here for my birthday, won't you? You won't be here for my birthday, Will you? Of course I'm going to be there for your birthday. Look at how much fun we're going to have. I can't wait. I'm so excited for your birthday party. Okay, so when using there is or there are, use there isn't or there aren't in the tag question. So there is, affirmative tag is is there, negative tag isn't there. There are, affirmative tag is are there, negative tag aren't there. There are some good recipes in this book, aren't there? There aren't any good recipes in this book, are there? There is a good reason for this, isn't there? There isn't a good reason for this, is there? There are enough candies for all the kids, aren't there? There aren't enough candies for all the kids, are there? There is a better way to do this, isn't there? There isn't a better way to do this, is there? There are many people in line, aren't there? There aren't many people in line, are there? There is a lot of junk in the attic, isn't there? There isn't a lot of junk in the attic, is there? There are a few in the fridge, aren't there? There aren't a few in the fridge, are there? There is a lot of snow on the ground, isn't there? There isn't a lot of snow on the ground, is there? Of course, there's a lot of snow on the ground. This is Canada. There's always a lot of snow on the ground in the wintertime in Canada. And we love it so much. Well, most of us do. Some people complain about it, but I don't. I really like the snow. Okay, so when using there was or there were, which is just the past tense of there is and there are, we use there wasn't or there weren't in the tag question. Okay, so there was, affirmative tag, 
was there. Negative tag wasn't there. There were, affirmative tag, were there. Negative tag, weren't there. There was enough time, wasn't there. There wasn't enough time, was there. There was an error message on my screen, wasn't there. There wasn't an error message on my screen, was there. There were a few issues at work today, weren't there. There weren't a few issues at work today, were there. There were a lot of apples on the tree, weren't there. There weren't a lot of apples on the tree, were there. Yes, there were a lot of apples on the tree, which is great when you want to make some applesauce in the fall. Okay, so when using the indefinite pronouns like nobody, no one, someone, somebody, everyone, everybody, we use they in the tag question. Okay, so when using nobody has, affirmative tag would be have they, negative tag, haven't they. No one has, affirmative tag, have they, negative tag, haven't they? Someone has, affirmative tag, have they, negative tag, haven't they? Somebody has, have they, affirmative, haven't they, negative? Everyone has, have they, affirmative, haven't they, negative? Everybody has, have they, affirmative, and haven't they, negative? Okay, so nobody or no one is the same thing. Someone, somebody is the same thing. And everyone, everybody is the same thing. You can use them interchangeably. These two interchangeably, these two interchangeably, and these two here also interchangeably. Okay? So nobody has seen this movie, this movie before, have they? Everybody has seen this movie before, haven't they? Everyone has tried it, haven't they? No one has tried it, have they? Nobody believes me, do they? Everybody believes me, don't they? Someone is using my account, aren't they? No one is using my account, are they? Everybody has handed in their homework assignments, haven't they? Nobody has handed in their homework assignments, have they? Nobody wants to work here, do they? Everybody wants to work here, don't they? Someone trusts him, don't they? No one trusts him, do they? Somebody has been picking the flowers from my garden, haven't they? Nobody has been picking the flowers from my garden, have they? I really don't like when people pick the flowers from my garden. So please don't pick the flowers from my garden. Okay, so that's all we have for that lesson. Yes, it's easy if you keep repeating the same thing, but I understand it's a little bit challenging. You will probably have to do it a few times, that video, like I said at the beginning. But if you do it a few times, you will definitely master it. If you're having difficulty with basic English, you can get yourselves a copy of basic English. This is the fourth edition. I always told you to get the third edition but now the fourth edition is out and you will know the difference between the third and the fourth edition because it's written right here at the top, fourth edition. This is published and distributed everywhere in the world by McGraw-Hill. You can find it anywhere online on any of the bookstores, especially on Amazon. This book will really help you in, to improve your English very quickly. The answer key is at the back to support you while you're learning. So get a copy of this book. Also, if you're having difficulty with your verb tenses, everybody tells me they have difficulty with verb tenses. I don't know why. It's so easy. It should take you about five minutes to understand 
how to use verb tenses in English. So this book is also available online. You can find it on Amazon, of course. The answer key is at the back to support you while you're learning also. So if you're having difficulty with your verb tenses, get a copy of this book. Okay, so for now, that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next lesson. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I'm going to figure it out for you. So I wish you a pleasant evening and I'll see you very soon. Good night for now.